Today, we're in Nashville, hitting up some of the top rated restaurants and trying some of the best hot chicken, barbecue, and more. Our first stop here is at Five Daughters Bakery. It started not too far from here in Franklin, Tennessee, so we thought no better place to try it than here in the area it originated. Five Daughters has a bunch of different treats that you can get. And what's awesome is that they're all natural, they don't use any artificial ingredients, and they can even cater to vegan and paleo diets. Their most famous item is the 100 layer donut, which is a cross between a croissant and a donut, or otherwise known as a cronut, except this one is filled with cream. They also have one called the Quinn, which they describe as a caramelized croissant, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, yum. Going with the classic, huh? Thought we'd start out with the classic, why not? how many layers are going on in there. That is a hundred layer donut, that isn't is it? <laughs> very buttery and it's got a good icing. Yeah, I think you're gonna like that. You can taste each layer and they're all delicious. That, that one's just a classic, it doesn't have cream. It's just original glaze. This one is the one that has the cream in it, right? I believe and so, it's yeah. Maple. cream. <laughs> that is heavenly. <laughs> There's cream in the middle, which I was not believing Jeremy at first because I'm like, you got the wrong ones because they have a hole in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, they do have cream in them. It's kind of like an elephant ear, but better and also kind of a donut and it's quite amazing. Oh my god. So good, right? Like there's so much happening in it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, you, I mean, the cream, the flaky, like, croissant layers, the cinnamon sugar, the maple, that is one of the best donuts I've ever had. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That raspberry filling tastes, like, really fresh. Maybe that's just because it doesn't have the artificial flavors in it, but wow. That's really good. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's like a homemade jam. It's delicious. Yeah. That is the best raspberry filling I've ever tasted. It's a little bit tart, like it's not super sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah, it's like your grandma made some homemade jam and put it in the most delightful donut you've ever had. It's, <laughs> it's pretty tasty. And I'm not a jelly donut person, but this is a good jelly donut. <laughs> I don't even know how to eat this. It's like a, a donut on top of a donut. like. Oh, look, I opened it up. Looks okay. good. Okay, all right. This one's just kind of like a sweet croissant. It's very croissanty, with like a little crusty edge to it. It's good. It's not as good as the others, but it's also very good. So these were all really great, but we really loved that maple one. That's right. Maple's the best one, so if you like maple things, you should definitely get that here. There are a lot of great sounding options when it comes to hot chicken in Nashville. But we went with Hattie B's because it's consistently one of the top rated places. They have three locations here in Nashville, and this is the Melrose location. We are going to be trying the Nashville hot chicken sandwich and a very spicy chicken tender. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a little spice on the back. It makes me a little scared of this. <laughs> People say that mild in Nashville is spicy everywhere else, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, that has really good flavor. Oh, it is very hot though. It is very hot. <laughs> but it's really good. It's like almost torturous spicy, but also quite tasty. And that's mild. And that's mild. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it on the bread because I'm afraid if I touch my fingers to the chicken then I'll be sad about that later. <laughs> it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It burns on the back end though. But it's good. It's actually good. 
good. Am I about to make a horrible decision? You know, maybe I'm dead inside, but that's not that bad. I mean, it's warm, but it's not that bad. Okay, I actually like that. Just give it a minute, it'll kick in. It, it's burning pretty bad right now for me. They do have one level hotter than this thing, too. We were scared. We were a little scared <laughs> off my I'm gonna try another bite, I guess. Oh my gosh, you're gonna torture yourself by dipping it in the extra sauce. <laughs> pretty warm, but it is pretty good. I don't know. I feel like having a little bit more of the sandwich, it's a really juicy piece of chicken. It's like crusty and like the, the breading is like fairly thick, not really thick, but it's like got a good crisp to it. I really enjoy the sandwich. It is quite spicy for mild though. How you feeling? Um, I ate a piece of the bread that had been sitting under the chicken. Wasn't the best idea, but I'm doing okay. The back of my throat's a little on fire, but did get a little banana pudding to cool that down. It's pretty good, and it feels good on my throat. <laughs> it's good, but my, my throat still burns. <laughs> That hot chicken still burns, like, and trapping it in with my mask made it that much worse. But, it's time to get some more Nashville food. Even if your face is on fire, we're about to go eat some more hot chicken. Yay! <laughs> no, I'm actually really excited about this next place. Yesterday, we were on the hunt for some good Nashville hot chicken, and we tried Hattie B's, and that was really good. A pretty famous restaurant, well known for some good hot chicken. But the more we kept reading about how great Hattie B's was before we came to Nashville, the more we kept seeing locals say, nah, you gotta try this other place in Hendersonville. So we're here to try it. This is Moore's Spicy Fried Chicken in Hendersonville, about 30 minutes from downtown. This is, so this is just a mild chicken breast? Boneless chicken breast. Boneless chicken breast. Was that an option you could do and you did it for me? I did. Thank you, I don't like bones. <laughs> I think I'm still gonna try to be careful and not touch it just because what I've learned so far in Nashville is that mild to Nashville is like medium spicy to everywhere else. That's fair. So if you don't like spicy food, you probably won't even like mild. <laughs> you might not. How's that? It's so good. Is that better than Hattie B's? It's fairly mild, yes. It has a light, just a, a very light breading, but it's ultra crispy, and it's just so moist and juicy, and the flavor is so good. Like, the seasoning is fantastic. Go it ahead. Smells really good. <laughs> a little temperature hot, not like seasoning hot. Yeah. No, I, I think I would actually consider that to be less spicy than the Hattie B's. Like oh, yeah. I thought the mild Hattie B's had a little bit more of a kick. This has a tiny, tiny bit of a kick, mm -hmm. but it's really it's not, not bad at all. It's not bad. It's not bad. If you didn't like spicy food, you could probably tolerate this. I'm going to go in for another bite. But a lot of these places, if you ask what the secret is, the ingredients is cayenne and love, I think you said at one point. <laughs> You can taste the love in this one. Mm -hmm. I like Hattie B's, but I think I like this better. If you've had the chicken sandwich from Popeyes, that like crispiness of the chicken sandwich, I think was kind of like similar vibes from Hattie B's. Like they were different, but like kind of that more crunchy breading. Mm -hmm. This, this, the breading is much thinner, but it's, it's beautiful. It's just like so flavorful and it's wonderful. I, I really like that. It's some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. Yeah, that's, it's good. <laughs> It's great. Should we torture ourselves? Should we try the sides before we torture ourselves Maybe. so we can taste the sides? <laughs> Maybe. So I picked out mac and cheese. And uh, Jeremy got fries, it looks like. Yeah, I was debating. It like a seasoning. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. I was debating between the fries and the fried okra, but seasoned fries sounded good, so we went there. All right. Mmm. I expected it to be kind of like a 
Old Bay or like Red Robin mm -hmm. seasoning or something, but it's almost got like a nutmeg, like mm -hmm. Maggie kind of thing or something. Yeah, it's like good. I do think that there might be nutmeg in there. Yeah, it's good. They are good. They do have like a little bit of the kick to mm -hmm. them, like almost like a little bit of the Cajun that I was kind of expecting. But yeah, but yeah like there's like more earthy or, or something. something in yeah. It. Those are good. Those are good. All right. A, a nice surprise. Let's go try that mac and cheese. Mmm. Good. That's different as well. Mmm. I like that. Oh, yum. That's like when you bake it. You feel like a lot of the other places kind of are like a little bit creamier or a little bit more like what you would get from a deli. But that tastes like when you like bake it and you make it all good and delicious with all the cheeses. Some sharp cheddar or something in there. All right, I gotta go in for another bite. Mm -hmm. You're right. There's like sharp cheddar maybe. And also I feel like it has some of the similar seasonings that the other stuff does. It might just be the same seasoning in everything. But it's I don't good, know, but it's all care. good. <laughs> it's a good seasoning. <laughs> Are you ready for some torture? I'm gonna use the fork. I'll be sad, I tainted the fork. So these are... Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. And the hottest that they make them. Now I think that the, the key to not killing yourself with this is to try not to get it to touch your lips and to not touch your fingers so that you don't like burn your eyeballs out later. Here we go. It's really good going in, but it's starting to become awful. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's way hotter than the stuff yesterday. Oh my goodness. You need me to hold that for you? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I didn't mean to touch my fingers on it. It's still manageable, but man, it burns. It just burns. It just straight burns. But it's so flavorful still. <laughs> Down the hatch, I guess. Okay, immediate reaction, not so bad. <laughs> But there it goes. It's like so flavorful that at first you don't notice how hot it's getting. And then it gets hot. And then your sinuses go, ah! It's really good though. <laughs> it's like good torture. It is. It is. It's like some of the freaking best chicken I've had, spicy or not. And Ooh. it's funny because I thought I was going to not really like the Nashville hot, hot. hot chicken. But it, I, I do, I like it. It's like a good, it's a good burn. Talking makes it hurt, <laughs> but it's like re-airing all of that mm -hmm. burntness in my mouth. Those but, open pores or whatever in your mouth. But it's really good. It's really, really good. And I would like gladly order any of this again and the next time i'm in nashville i would come out of the way for just to one. come here to yeah. moore's there was nothing wrong with hattie b's no, it was good. all great this is better this though. is better this is definitely better yeah the locals are right nashville has a bunch of amazing sounding barbecue joints but jeremy picked out this place for us the peg leg porker because everyone on the internet said it's really good so they've been serving award-winning barbecue here since 2013 and I'm pretty excited to go and try some of that barbecue. All right, let's go. We got the pulled pork barbecue nachos. Those look pretty tasty. And we got a couple sides. We got some mac and cheese and smoked green beans. Oh, they took one of your favorites and uh, smoked them green beans. They did, they did. Are you excited for those? Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love green beans. I actually, I'm just gonna try the green beans because that's the thing I'm honestly the most excited about. Looks like they got a little like bacon with them. They're the, oh my gosh, and they're the like big thick Italian green beans that I love. Is they're that, so good. <laughs> that doing green they're beans like, right? Uh-huh. They're like just, like almost have just a tiny hit of vinegar. Just a smidge, like maybe. But it's mostly just smoky flavor. Yummy, smoky flavor, bacon. That's my favorite thing today, just in general. I don't even care about the rest of stuff. Those are freaking awesome. <laughs> They're really good. Yeah, the bacon, they're very smoky. And yeah, it's just a very tasty way to make a green bean. Sure is. And he says, please, please let me, let me have smoky goodness.
going for that, huh? It smells buttery and cheesy. That is some pretty good mac and cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese they use, but it's very creamy. And yeah, it's just got a really good seasoning to it. Good job, guys, good job. I like their sauce. And it's just really good pulled pork on top of nachos. I mean, how can you really go wrong with that? Dang. Who knew? Barbecue nachos are legit. Um, the pulled pork on them is like really moist and pulls apart really easily. It has a very good flavor. And then the, the sauce is like a little tangy. I'm not a big fan of barbecue sauce, but it works really well with like the nacho cheese and everything else going on. I love that we also get these cool souvenir cups. And I like that their phone number is 1844SWINE11. Can you tell we enjoyed it? It was pretty good. <laughs> Just kidding, it was delicious.